Hey guys, I thought I'd show you this super awesome setup. I'm testing out an accelerometer. I have one that I got from Adafruit or Adafruit, and I think Adafruit, yeah. And uh, I have an Arduino and uh, I have it wired in. So as soon as it detects a sufficiently large acceleration uh, with some filtering, um, it will trigger the L this little LED to, to, to turn on. And eventually I'll hook that into an in-stop and I'll use that for probing. And I'm gonna use this to characterize all the, uh, the way this whole machine's put together. For instance, I will, swing the arms one way and the other way and wait until it hits and it'll trigger that so it'll know what the range of this main arm is and then I'll do that for the same thing for the small arm. So yeah, I'll watch, I'll, I'll run this into this um, uh, pulley and you'll see the light turn on. And so, and it stays on for two seconds, but um, so it's, it can easily figure out where that is. I'm not sure how accurate it is and whether it can like stop it and like, it doesn't need to be like exact on on like what micro step it uh, triggered on but what I'm thinking about doing is doing some kind of incremental uh, get closer and closer and closer until I start getting knocks and that should be fairly accurate I can probably get it where it's knocking before there's missteps and I can then um, characterize the machine so um, at least I have a plan um, I might be able to make it slicker and just like go and hit once um, <sighs> But uh, I have a little program here where I can show you some of the probing. Let's see if I can get this set up. Okay. All right, here we go. Hopefully I'll start hitting and I'll... This is the best setup ever. I might not get down far enough before the program stops. So every time it's getting down 0.1 millimeter farther. So there you saw at the end that it lit up, so it just hit. So, um, and that was accurate. Uh, it should be accurate between uh, within 0.1 um, millimeters, which is gonna be good enough for bed leveling. So um, hopefully next time I make a video of this, it will be, uh, a little cleaner execution and on the new machine I have the the next one pretty much all done design wise and um, it's probably gonna take me a week or two to get that all together but um, instead of the IR sensor I'm definitely gonna have this little bad boy on there and I'll have a much smaller Arduino buried in the electronics box um, so that's it thanks for watching